Thanks for your attention. Thanks for the opportunity to speak. Uh, Delousing the market of parasitic rent seeking agents. It was David Friedman that said market mechanisms are institutions that govern our economic interactions. What I'm going to argue today is that continuous auctions are evil. Don't use them. Instead, use batch auctions with single price clearing. And furthermore, batch auctions are just the first step uh, to having our economic interactions be mediated by intelligent agents working in our best interests, not for the profit of somebody else. If there's anything original uh, here, it would be this breakdown, this identification of four essential market mechanisms. The first two, the issuer and the clearing, the issuer and the clearing house are concerned with settlement and clearing. The next two are the ones that I'm concerned with in this talk. The auctioneer and the market maker have to do with trading and exchange. I don't have time to get into market makers, so I'm just going to focus on two on auctioneers. But an interesting thing to note is that the evolution up till now of cryptocurrencies has been moving these mechanisms from third-party agents to on-chain mechanisms. Bitcoin was the first to do this by having an on-chain issuer, the uh, Bitcoin reward, the, blo uh, the block reward. And the clearing house is the public-private key transfer protocol. Uh, Ripple had on-chain order books <clears throat> directly in the protocol, and then on-chain market, market makers uh, <clears throat> done by Truthcoin, Augur, Gnosis. Two basic types of auctioneers. Continuous time <coughs> auctions. These are matched with pay-as-bid pricing and discrete time auctions, also known as call auctions or batch auctions. These, by definition, use single price clearing. If anyone says it's a batch auction, but <coughs> um, double check that they're using uniform price clearing or single price clearing, uh, because by almost any definition, um, it has to be single price clearing or it's not uh, a batch auction. <clears throat> I'm concerned with this because if there's going to be a thousand cryptocurrencies, um, I don't want to see them traded, well, I don't want to personally trade them like altcoins, uh, inefficient markets, thin order books. Um, it's just not much fun. And if you're planning to use a pay-as-bid order matching mechanism, then uh, you're just fe you're feeding your users to the wolves. Uh, so don't do it. Um, why is it a problem? Because. Pay as bid pricing is a primitive rule. It creates a primitive game because limit orders are free options. You can go ahead and Google this, put free options in quotes, and uh, you'll get a bunch of results. Um, it's not incentive compatible. You get front running sniping. Uh, market, market orders aren't much better because you have to pay the spread. And your users will suffer uh, death by a thousand cuts and their wallets will eventually be empty. And if you don't believe me, then, I mean, this, it's a high frequency trading strategy uh, to just identify limit orders placed by humans. Uh, they, they're stale after five seconds. <laughs> so <clears throat> what's the better mechanism? Single price clearing. What is single price clearing? All these <clears throat> You just match the supply and demand curve, and <clears throat> all the trades execute at the same price. It doesn't matter if you overbid. Um, you still get a fair price on your trade. These are actually, they're already used. They've been used for a long time. They've just been taken for granted because, probably because Bitcoin exchanges operate 24-7, so they don't have opening and closing sessions. Uh, opening and closing sessions, Uniform price clearing is used on the NYC and NASDAQ already. It's, and 
I would call it the near indicative clearing price. Um, so it gets kind of confusing because single price clearing, uniform price clearing, second price auction, there's so many different names for the same basic idea. Um, but the Vickery auction, Vickery won the uh, Nobel Prize of economics, and <clears throat> variants have been used and rebranded over the years. Well, isn't it better to batch order super fast? No. Read this paper. It is not better. Or just look at the slides. Uh, it, intuitively, it seems like it's better because continuous time markets are more efficient in time space, but they're less efficient in volume space because all limit orders are stale. Um, and the fastest traders get to charge arbitrage rents. Batch auctions solve this problem. They respect the reality of computers, and it's an excellent fit for blockchains. Uh, you just think of the block times as the batch periods. Um, the spectrum of mechanism, so continuous double auction is a simple sorting process. Uh, there's no optimization. It, once, you go to a, once you move to a uniform uh, single price clearing uh, batch auction, you're doing a simple batch optimization. And once you go further down the spectrum, the spectrum, you get more and more complex optimizations, which are better for your users. It's like having your own, think of it like having your own uh, trading bot um, directly in the mechanism working for you to get the best price on your order. Uh, <clears throat> these are Penox phases. Phase zero, <clears throat> what I call Penox phases. Phase zero is the times before computers. Phase one, the computers just emulate exactly what humans did. Phase 1.5. Now the eight, this is where we are now. Um, the agents on the periphery are doing more statistical optimizations for their own profit. They're exploiting the core mechanisms and all you measly humans still using stale limit orders are getting exploited by uh, the high frequency traders. Phase 2.0, <clears throat> that's where we want to go. Uh, these are the two basic types of intelligent agents. The simple reflex agent is a good model for continuous double auction. Um, batch auctions, or even more obviously, uh, automated market makers are model-based agents because they actually have state um, the inventory of the market maker is the state. And so unless you're going to run your own trading bot, then use a more advanced mechanism. Recent paper in Science did, uh, <clears throat> has a nice description of this for uh, ad auctions. Um, the first designs were first price auctions, so that's your pay as bid clearing. Then that advanced to second price auctions. That's again your uniform price clearing. And then, <clears throat> and combining those with uh, proxy agents, um, what, so when we go back to phase 2.0, note that uh, Google and Facebook are already using um, advanced mechanisms directly in the, for the trade matching. But the difference is that they are centralized, and they, that what they're optimizing is the auctioneer revenue. Uh, <clears throat> on a decentralized mechanism, we can optimize instead trader welfare. Just some solidity code to efficiently verify the solution to a convex optimization. Um, ask me about this later. Uh, thanks.